Hi Cancer, how are you? Welcome to your, let me get the dates right, from the 26th of February until the 3rd of March 2020 love reading. So we're going to be looking into your relationships, romantic relationships, past, present, future. We shall see what comes out. Okay, um, what else? Let me just shuffle while I'm shuffling. Uh, we are going to do what we always do. If you're first time here, this is my spirit room and we call in your spirit guides into my spirit room so they can give you messages and important things that you need to be aware of um yeah i always look how the candle smoke rises as well before i start let's see if it matches with the cards okay so um yeah i'm losing train of thought because i'm staring at the candle smoke jeez cancer have patience with me today uh by the way hi my name is deborah and this is my channel energy of everything let's have a look into the energies of your person you and your relationship last message will come from your spirit guide advice to you or something that you need to be aware of at this time guys if the video resonates with you you can hit the thumbs up you can uh comment like you know share subscribe do all those do those things you know if you want a personal reading just check in the description box below all the information is there okay spirit guides let's get into this what is going on with cancer this week what is it that they need to know i am just gonna do i feel like doing that no i feel like keeping on shuffling there we go so we're going to look into your energy what is going on with cancer's energy right now and we've got cards that are flipping so many cards omg omg oh my goodness oh gosh we're going to take these cards we're going to go with it <laughs> there's no rules in the spirit room it just goes as we go oh gosh your person's energy just jumped out <laughs> mummy 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 are we looking at an ex? yes we're looking at an ex we are looking at an ex i'm sorry cancer gee whiz if you're going oh not the ex again can i tell you mm-hmm mm -hmm. there's the hangman energy in their energy why i'm saying we're looking at the ex look at the six of cups that just came out just look at it that is memories, that is thoughts about a past person. And not long, not long ago, recent energy. So this is not your, you know, 10 years, no, not 10 years. This is now, last year, a few months ago, two years ago, but not years and years and years back. Okay, before we go any further, this is one you hey, hey, hey. Okay, OMG. We just moved into Mercury retrograde and has your ex come and approached you? OMG. You've got two of wands. You've got hangman in the energy. You are just confused. I think you have been... I, if this is your reading, it's going to resonate with you. If it's not, I'm so sorry that it wasn't your reading this week. But I have to read what I'm looking at in these cards. I'm going to start draw. I want to draw out some more cards to see the energy of the joint connection, but I have to speak first. I think this person reaching out to you, I think it was totally, totally unexpected on your side. I don't think you thought you would ever hear from them again. I think you re totally released this person. And surprise, surprise, won't the universe just give you those surprises? They have reached out to you sometime. Either they are or they will because your your energy i mean when they reach out you're going to be thinking all the way back into the parts of the relationship the good times but maybe even the bad times because out comes the chariot card so it's like you have to really look at the situation and really think yo cancer i mean really think with this chariot card coming out look at this nine of wands in the reverse energy and um <laughs> this is, you know, this is an interesting card to come out here with these two cards. Because this is cards for me. This is re totally rethinking. Re and this is remembering. Rethinking, remembering. Imagine you've got R's going on here. I don't know why, but there's a lot of R's. Um, the Nine of Wands energy. Oh, I'm using, I don't know, if your person's name begins with an R or you, your name is R, G, you are faint. Because look at this, maybe it means something to you. I'm seeing remembering. I'm seeing re-evaluating. I'm seeing releasing. That's my look when I look at this card. It is almost like 
is this an expired situation? Should I go back into this? Isn't it past? Should it remain in the past? What if the old things chariot start coming back up? I'm remembering a lot of different things, good times and bad times. So what happens if it comes up again? Um, I think you are suspicious of this person. If they come to into you, you will be suspicious. You will be doubting this connection. Um, you may not even, if you're listening to me and you go, OMG, OMG, I don't want them contacting me. That's the, that's the nine of wands reverse right there. If you're listening to me and you go, oh, I do, if they can contact me, oh, hell no. Let me tell you, there, that's the energy right there that you would have. But you know what? The way that they come in, the way that they offer you, it's a confusion on your side. Because like I'm telling you right there, there is memories. There's this thing that's holding you, is the past memories. Not all of them are bad. And that's what's making you rethink. Because I know when I look at this two of wands energy on their side, you and them, her, him, who, whatever, uh, you guys had a really tight connection. I think when you met each other in the past, it's something that happened really quite quickly. And it's almost like you guys could get together and sit and talk till the next morning when the sun rose. That is what's bringing up that six of cups. And that's what's making this a little bit more harder than what you would thought. This person has been remembering those connections with you as well. And they want to come back in and offer that again. They feel like wherever they were, I'm just saying, wherever they've been, um, this is two of wands. So it's almost like they've been, look at this, hangman. Okay, I'm going to read them together. Okay. It's almost like they've been in the state of re-evaluating their life with that hangman being there, with the two of wands being there. They, they may have been, since they left you, I don't know if there was, there may have been people in between the two of you on both sides. Okay, this could have been a little while back. No, not last week, but it's possible. But I feel like things have been not moving for them for quite some time. It's almost like they've been stuck in a rut. It's not what they like. They haven't found love again. I can tell you that. They haven't found the connection, two of wands, that they had with you in the six of cups energy in the reverse. If you want to know one thing I can tell you today in this reading is that's the fact. They've been, if they ever went off and you guys broke up and they went and looked, they could never really find somebody that compares to the connection they had with you. This is actually this is what brings you out, I think, in the chariot, having to rethink, really make a decision. But it's almost like a part of you is just like, oh, I just don't know if I want to go back there. Maybe you feel happy right now, or you just feel in a place that's safe and you don't get stressed and you're just going, oh, I don't know, I don't know. Um, with them being in the hangman energy reverse, let me tell you something. They have been thinking very deeply about the actions that they need to take. And they are implementing these actions with the two of wands and it is towards you. And you know what? A lot of people go, oh, but everybody says my ex is coming back. I don't believe it. You know, I say go check another tarot reader and see what they say. Because you will be this card wants to stick out. So I'm taking it. You'll be so surprised. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. Yes, look at this. Emperor in the reverse energy. This is talking about you. And this is the kind of like joint energy. When this, you are the empress. You're the empress, right? Not emperor. You are the, or you may be an emperor. I'm just saying, male or female. But the empress energy, this is a, the catch of the day. So if you get yourself an empress and you wanting to settle down, you wanting to um, have the family, have the love, have the romance, have the trips, you know, the whole dream that we have as people, this is the energy you want to go for. And you, I believe, you are the one carrying this energy. That is what made them not find somebody else like you. Congratulations, Cancer. Good for you. But in this reverse position, you not, you'd been disturbed. This is the same as this. This is these two. 
literally whatever I said for this card, that's the feeling. That is disruption in your life. And you don't know. You're like, do I want this disruption in my life? I have this vibe with you that things could be going really, really well for you right now. And you feel like everything's on track and your life is going places. And I want to do this one. This wants to be this card. So, yeah. OMG. How many cards? No, guys, really. The other signs are going to, going to be mad. OMG. Got two of swords. I'm quickly going to look through because I can't look through all of them. Two of swords. This goes here. I'm going to do this just randomly because this is what we do in our spirit room. Your defenses are extremely up. You may not really want this. This emperor in reverse is just saying you may not want this. You might be very much protecting your heart from this. This I almost feel with this card coming up here. This person from your past because you had that really deep connection I think they could have been the person that hurt you the most in your life it's them because they got in so deeply into your heart because the connection was so strong but they hurt you the most two of swords okay chariot I'm oh, sorry I'm lying the <laughs> chariot I'm looking at the chariot here the the knight of pentacles they want to offer you that security. Just imagine we're going to do this. Don't tell the other signs. We drew out so many cards. Shh. Okay. All right. Um, this is... Yeah, so I'm saying chariot. Look at the chariot being there. Oh, it's just like movement. They want to come in and they want to offer you this connection. What you need to know when this comes up, the chariot... Uh, yeah, what is up with me and the chariot? No, they're coming in, guys. I don't know what to say. <laughs> Listen, the Knight of Pentacles. OMG. Okay. They're going to offer it to you, but they're not going to rush you. They're going to take it slow. So listen to me. You see the two of wands? They want to rekindle the connection that you guys had in the past. And they are going to do so in such a way that they come back as friends. So that they can, because they're afraid you might not accept them. So they're going to offer this in a very secure way. How are you? Oh, it's been such a long time since I've seen you. Wow. Would you like to go for coffee? Would you like to just hang out, you know, maybe chat with you a little bit on your, your social media? But they have got bigger plans. Look, they've got bigger plans. They're going to offer you that friendship. Let's have yeah, offer, offer a friendship. Here we go. But look what's that. That is the world card. They don't want friendship with you. They want the world with you. Okay? They are going to come in as friends, but they're not coming in as friends. They want to have the world with you. And I don't know what you're going to do. I felt like this person is the one that hurt you the most in this life. It's going to be the top card. This one is a message from your spirit guide right now, what you need to know. <gasps> OMG. Oh my lord, oh lordy, you got the Hierophant card, oh good luck Cancer, good luck, I wish you good luck, because that Hierophant card, yo, 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 that can indicate some very serious future things happening in your life, I don't know if you are actually going to manage to be able to keep this person out of your, your life, Hierophant can literally represent marriage it can represent the commitment this is the card of marriage the hierophant is the marriage you know the day you get married look there's two people standing there there's two keys they're crossing each other you have the key to me i have the key to you this is just i don't know where this is going hold on put on your seat belt because this person's coming in they got the world card and the way they're doing it with this world card being there I almost feel like they've been doing a lot of thinking. And this world card, though, you must know, this is about divine timing. This is about, there could be past life connections here, by the way, between you and this person. That's why the two of wands has come up. This is a very interesting reading. You, I tell you, they had, if they're going to want to come back to you, they had better enter in this way of offering friendship. And I think... Lo there is a warning I think maybe a warning and maybe a future prediction coming out that if you do become receptive to them 
this could go to serious relationship commitment everything and if you are totally not interested in that then it's a warning they want to offer you that so you must make that decision to either realize from the start that's what they want and I don't want it then you're going to have to let them go but if you in your heart go I may be open to it let me tell you the way that they're coming in here that's what they're thinking they're not thinking let me get to know her him or her again they're thinking I'm going to marry that person your cancer so know what you're going to do <laughs> okay I'm wishing you don't tell the others how many cards are laying out on the table Shh. Wishing guys luck in the situation. Let me know if they come back in or if they have already. OMG. Thank you guys for watching. Bye.